Here's the thing. The fact that black women have not burned this whole place to the ground is winning already. We've already established how much restraint we have. sense of what the strategy is there and how you feel like you've seen that pipeline expand over the past year and a half? The strategy has been to surround myself with people who can always make me better and at the same time keep it being aware of what is what is lacking in venture capital. I was able to start a company from scratch so I was able to say okay who do I want to be part of this? And I think everyone on our team, except for Diane, who I've known for 12 years, came, like found me and then found us when we were in us. And that was because they were seeing themselves. So talking about that community and that backstage, what backstage capital is bringing to the table, Yeah. can you just speak a little bit about what you're kind of doing on the back end? Sure. We have small, small amount of resources and a growing portfolio. So we have to be smart about things. We have to do things that scale. We have to do things that have impact because our founders don't have time for us to just mess them around. So we try to, we do our best to try to make it impactful. So one of the things we do is we have something called backstage chats, and I think actually one's happening today uh, with Leslie Miley, who's one of our LPs, and he is going to spend an hour or so with any of our portfolio companies who have signed up for these virtual conversations where he will present something to them that's helpful and then they'll ask him questions in a, in a private, comfortable setting. I also love to hear, what song would you recommend right now? Oh, okay, I'm, I'm on the bandwagon. Uh, I wasn't at first, but now I am. Cardi B. <laughs> I She's cussed, amazing on SNL. I cussed so many people out on the way to, to Yale. Uh, I came from the West Coast. And I listened to her new album like three different times all the way through. I cussed so many people out because she had me so hyped. You know, like, yo, who are you going to come in? You know, like, I'm just, <laughs> I was just listening to her lyrics. And I'm like, that's so true. Even if you don't get the whole album, download Get Up 10, crank it in the morning before you go to work, you cuss everybody out. Also, when it comes to backstage, when it comes to any investor, think about the investor's story. Like, you can't come to me and say, oh, I, I was tired, so I, I stopped for a little while, and I couldn't get this customer, so I gave up. Because you're talking to someone who slept on the floor of San Francisco airport and raised a venture fund. As a black gay woman who is cheerfully and, and cutely overweight. <laughs> you can't tell <laughs> you can't tell me it was too hard. I mean today I can tell you it's easy to tell you today. Today like our team, I can't do this without our team. I can't do this without our LPs. I can't do this without our founders. Like th this is a huge undertaking that all these people have something to do with. But there were years where it was just me and some wacky dream totally transparent when I got my first LP from like LP investment commitment at first she, she said yes three years I mean sorry three months prior she was ready and when she went to wire I said okay here's the wire information it was my mom's bank account because I had nothing I had the lawyer who was like waiting in the in the wings and helped me with some docs but I had nothing set up so she was like ah. she did the Cardi B you know, <laughs> she was like, uh-uh. <laughs> she was like, wait a minute, your mother, <laughs> what's going on here? She was like, and I tried to explain to her, like, I know I'm a mess right now, but you don't understand what I'm going to be. I just, I just need this one thing to get me to establish, right? Because it was that, it was that crazy what I was doing. I was bootstrapping this thing. I had an investor, an uh, angel investor, tell me that I was crazy and that no one would ever invest in me to invest in other companies. 
Um, he said it on the phone, and I said this earlier today. He is now a managing director at another, um, at an incubator, and he recently reached out to me to ask me for deal flow. And he told me four years ago that I was crazy and that no one would invest in my company. And um, I think it was just people seeing me after six months and after six months and I was still there and I was still, I was still kind of sharp and even sharper in my thesis and some data points to show them and some traction to show them and in my conviction. And over time, some, some of those people, those hundreds of people said yes. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, you gotta like really get, in. Woo, you gotta get in, the, in the pocket of it, the groove of it. I was saying earlier, it's like a mullet. It's like business in the front and then part, way party in the back. It's all right. So, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you. We, we have a lot to discuss, but I want to get through my couple of questions and then open them to the audience. Sure. So, what, what was the hardest part of going to this? Essentially, just like a hustler, right? You got what you need to get done done at a high level throughout, and then saying, I want to turn this into this energy, this raw passion towards the VC and startup world. What was the hardest part? Yeah, the hardest, the most difficult part of that transition. Um, well, I mean, I didn't really, it would have been like anything that I tried out, so it was, that part wasn't difficult. I think the hardest part probably was just who I was, trying to get into, break into that world, so black, a woman, gay, not networked in that, in that space, just starting off, you know, uh, poor, broke, you know, that, and that's very different than a lot of PCs. Um, I think, yeah, I think it was just starting at less than zero and trying to be in a race with people who had a lot of resources and a very, very competitive landscape. One thing I love about Max you said this earlier today is the fact that it's not, you, you can't just become uh, a gain investment from backstage from being black, right? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Can you talk more about your investment strategy? Because it's not about saying, hey, I'm black with an idea and I have a show. No, we can't say that. Uh, you know, this is a for profit, um, legally formed fund and, for, and firm, for, let me try one more time, firm. <laughs> and we can't, we're not giving out like checks for showing up black, yeah. you know. One day, I hope they do that, because sure. I'll be there, I'll be in line. <laughs> I mean, I hope somebody does that. <laughs> we, we, we certainly <laughs> are owed it, but that's not what this is. And in fact, we are held to a higher standard, whether that's fair or not. One thing I like about backstage is your crew. Word, look at, look how cute they are. We need to have like a Colgate sponsorship. <laughs> like, look at that. They're just adorable. Um, and they're from all over the country. You have a fully remote team, is that right? Also? Yeah, we have, so we have co-working spots. Two co-working spots in LA because a, a few of our, like two or three people work together. But mostly we're spread between LA, San Francisco, Oakland, New York, Boulder, Detroit, uh, Mexico City. How do you manage a fully remote team, a fully remote VC team with all the decisions of the name? Yeah, we, I mean, Right now, like there's four of us here, Diane, Del, Chacho. Uh, we're all here from three different cities. And the rest of our team has been, I mean, we've been working. The rest of our team, we just checked in on Slack and everybody's working on something. So, I mean, it's like, I think, I think, and you know, y'all correct me if I'm wrong, but I think people at Backstage have like a lot of fun. And so I think they look forward to working on stuff that they're working on. And, so there's a there are a lot of leaders at our team in our team. I like to when I was thinking about backstage, uh, and as I continue to, I want everyone to feel like they have their own look, like mini startup within backstage. I just if you get to if you get the honor of starting a company from the ground up, and you don't use that to try to add to the quality of life or the people that are spending their time working with you. You're doing it wrong, in my opinion. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Yeah.
stage capital.